What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of DNA TV Vision. And I got my boy, man, with me today, my brother, Mr. Al B. What's up, baby? What's up, dog? <laughs> What's good, man? Come on, come on here. I was shy, man. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> what you got going? Back, I'm ready, like, man. Back down from Cali? Yeah, everything and a little bit of that. Man, that's what's up. I'm glad you stopped by to chop it up with us, man. You brought your daughter, your little grandbaby walking around, man. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. So she might even step in. Yeah, she might step in. <laughs> that's yeah, what's I'm up, man. Thanks. So, uh, let's go on down through that, man. What's your earliest childhood remember? Man, I come from, uh, I come from Long Beach. Long Beach? Elementary, all that? Elementary. I come from Long Beach, man. I was born in Long Beach, man. Long Beach Memorial. My earliest childhood memories. Long Beach are, Memorial is a neighborhood? That's the, that's the hospital. The hospital? Yeah, so we from the west side of Long Beach. What elementary school you went to? I went to uh, John Muir. John Muir. M-U-I-R. Mm -hmm. What was I that like? To, John Muir was cool, man. That's yeah. where I went to uh, kindergarten in the first grade. No, I'm mm -hmm. lying. I went to Kidney Garden in uh, Echopoise, man. Echopoise is a, mm -hmm. like a preschool or whatever. But it was, <coughs> it's the family. It's in the family. So you went there the whole... In Compton. I went to Echopoise in Compton. So you went to... Uh, preschool and kindergarten. Preschool and kindergarten? Yeah, and then from after that, I went to uh, John Muir in Long Beach on the west side. Got hit by a car. I got hit by a car at John Muir. How old you were when you got hit by a car? Uh, in the second grade. Crossing the street? Crossing the street, racing, racing Robert from from home. Well, yeah. Cause we ain't never been the we ain't never been the type of kids, man. We ain't never got picked up from school. You ever got picked up from school? <laughs> Your mom ever yeah, picked you? Unless it was an emergy, that we had to yeah, go somewhere. Unless you got in trouble or some shit. Like other than that, yeah. walking on the bus. Yeah. So so shit. Uh, after school, we used to have to go across the street. To the babysitter. The babysitter had a bunch of kids over there, so it was cool. We go over there, and then like about four thirty-five, whatever. When it, when parents get off, we shoot to the house. So that's what happened. We racing home and shit. I run from inside, from between some cars. So when you, when you got hit, what, what hard, bad hospital ambulance on the All scene? All that. All that. They say I went hot like a light pole. <laughs> shit. If you was in the what grade? In, in the second grade, yeah, you went first out like second, a life first, first <laughs> Cause look, my mole and everything came out. I was, Your who? I was the mole and Your everything. Man. <laughs> <laughs> knocked the mole off of me, you know. You hear me? God, I was damn. moleless. And then my brother was, he was mad because the nigga was laid up in the hospital eating jello and shit. He used to be hating on me. Why, why I need so how long you was in the hospital? What, what happened to you? I stayed. I'm talking man. about doing a wreck. What injuries? You? What happened? Really, just got scarred up. Uh -huh. Got scarred up real bad. You know, my mold came off, everything got scarred. Woo -woo -woo. I was back at the hospital. I mean, I was out the hospital, they say probably in like two or three days, but it felt like about a week. Felt like I had to relearn how to walk and all that shit. Damn, yeah. son. And then I came to Texas after that, but I got so many memories in California, so like before the, before the third grade, because I was out here in the third grade. Yeah. But shit, man, me and my brother, we used to. Mm -hmm. We used to run the streets of California. So it was just you, or who was it in the household? Me, <clears throat> me, my brother, and my mom and my dad. Okay. okay. We've been in the same household since. Mm -hmm. What's that relationship like, you and your mom? Shit, gold, Beautiful. platinum, diamond, uh -huh. and shit like that. Yep. You and your pops? Same way. That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be. Both dead. parents. Yeah. We, we, we solid. As a family, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? We solid, we, everybody in the family solid. They know what it is, you know, even though they, somebody might have a little feeling to feel some kind of way. That's life. Yeah, that's life. So, uh, that's good. Yeah. what was uh, the mood to uh, Texas? It was a reason or what? something happened or? Well, the move to Texas, man, uh, think about it. We moved out here in what, 88? You know what I'm saying? So in 1988, what was going on in 1988? How old you was in 88? I was in the shit. I was born in '79, so in '88 I was what nine, ten. Uh -huh. Yeah, like nine. So I was in third mm -hmm. grade. When, you know, that's when we moved out here. So, uh, shit, it was, it was 
what was already going on. Yeah, because you know what the reason was because my parents became, they came out here to, 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 to do better. They opened up okay. their own business. Yeah, they came okay. out here. You know what I'm saying? The price of living was cheaper. Yeah. All kind of shit made so sense. You are, it made sense. You got word? Your mom and them told you one night y'all was coming out here, they, they forewarned y'all a week earlier, or you, you heard through the grapevine, or what? Man, that shit. Pack your stuff, let's go. Man, that shit really fucked my life up. On the cruise. I hate to say it because they really, my parents was on a mission to do better, you know, to, to do better. You dig what I'm saying? But when we got out here, it's like when leaving from California, where you where you from, and everybody know you, you your family there. <clears throat> and our family deep in, 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 in Long Beach, bro. We everywhere. Everybody know our name, you know what I'm saying? Saunders, yeah. Cal we Calhouns. Okay. I'm a Calhoun, my mama's a Calhoun, my daddy's a Saunders, my daddy from San Diego, my mama from Long Beach. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. my dad moved to San Diego, shit man, like when he was, he was still in high school, he moved out his mama house, he was like 14 years old. My daddy moved from San Diego to Long Beach when he was in the ninth grade, and he got his own apartment and started goddamn me living on his own you dig what i'm saying then he met my mama and they had my brother through high school my mama went to continuation school to finish up to because she was pregnant with, with my brother type shit. you know what i'm saying so they they've been together since you feel me type shit. what that's you feel me though <laughs> what that's you what's up. that's what's up that's is what's it up. so so uh man the move to texas man my mom and my daddy wasn't them was probably like when I think about it now, my mom and my daddy probably was like 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, late, they late, late, late 20s or early 30s, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And they made a move to go somewhere that they ain't know nothing about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you why I fucked this up, man. When we first got here, we ain't know nothing about mosquitoes and shit. First off, this shit there was crazy as fuck, the mosquitoes, Fucking what you mean you didn't know about them? I ain't never seen them knew what that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't have mosquitoes in California? Nah, um, <laughs> hell no, nah, nigga. We ain't, we ain't. How is that? That's what I wonder. <laughs> How in the fuck? What, that's what I say. Like, I be like, every time I come out of here, I'm, I'm battling with these bugs and shit. Yeah. Man, there ain't none of that going on down there. <laughs> that's you crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, right? It's, I don't know why. I guess it's so you so was, moving. And so you're like nine or ten, if you can remember, what was the big change? I know it was a big change. The big change, the big change. What school you went to when you dropped down and came out here? Blanchard. Blanchard. Okay. All right, I come from Long Beach where my school was, my school in Long Beach was mixed up. Uh -huh. Black, white, what Mexican, else? Asian, it was everything. We had uh, one classroom, but you had the classroom broke up into four sections. So you got like eight kids, Right here, and you got the teacher's assistant a working with age. that kid. Yeah, and one in the elementary same, they school. They just broke down. Yeah, like I go from the second grade to the, and, and I was I was going to school in Signal Hill. Then that's right there in the middle of Long Beach. You though. go from second grade to the third grade in the same room. No, that's what you're saying. What I'm telling you is this. No, what I'm saying is I'm in Signal Signal Hill in the third. I mean, in the second grade, the way the classroom is set up <clears throat> is one teacher and three teachers' aides. Yeah. So it's so so it's really like four teachers in the classroom, right? The classroom is broke up into sections, four different sections, a group of kids. Yeah. So the teacher, you got a teacher for each group. You dig what I'm saying? Then you got you go you got you got three recesses. Then you got lunch. You dig what I'm saying? So that's California school. In Texas school, you go you got goddamn me. Six classes, seven classes. No, nah, you got all day. And then when I got to Blanchard, it wasn't no recess. And then it's, it's everybody in there. Everybody is. Why uh, not? I went to Blanchard. They had recess when I was there. One time, brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's that got, time to go home know, after that. <laughs> yeah, it's it. And, but, the, but, the, the, but you getting paddled and all kind of shit. You, oh, yeah, you, you can't a whole another world. Yeah, it's a whole another world. It's like. Where y'all moved to? What neighborhood? When y'all first came down to Texas? We moved to right there on Flamingo, man. Yeah, we was on Flamingo. Okay. Uh, Virginia, in between Virginia and Sarah. You know, so what friends you ran into? What friends you was running with when you uh, hit Blanchard? 
Man, my first friends, my first friends in Texas was Byron, Byron and John, Cedric McCartney. Byron and Cedric. Uh -huh. Byron who? Byron, Byron Johnson, mm -hmm. Cedric McCartney, both of them, I don't know, both of them. I never heard of them. You know Black Byron. I think uh, I know Byron, but you said Cedric McCartney? And Ricky, Ricky Goodwill. Ricky Goodwill. Two of the three people I named, they not they they passed away. Uh -huh. They gone they gone to glory with you know they gone to be with God, but uh, Byron's still around. Byron's still here. Me and Byron, and uh -huh. and then my uh, my brother. Yeah. So that was that was my the same piece. So who you ran with in school? The same in school. Yeah. Blanchard Elementary. Yeah, me and Cedric. Mm -hmm. uh, Man, I had a few friends around there, you know what I'm saying, that stayed around there. Patrick, Travis, you know, all the, we all kicked it. You know, T. Brian and, and Patrick Young, you know, mm -hmm. Cedric, Ricky, everybody, man. So right. middle school, where you went? Daryl. Huh? Middle school, where you went? I went to Odom. Odom, for all three, six, seven, and eight? Yeah, Odom was cool. And who you ran with at Odom? at Odom? Who you ran with well, at Odom? At Odom, man, we was, uh... Put it like this, when I first went to Odom in the sixth grade, I was still living in the parish on Flamingo. And uh, it was, Byron was, Byron was there, because Byron was in the eighth grade. Me and Cedric was in the same grade, so we all walked to school together. Me, Byron, Cedric, and Ricky. So shit, Patrick, I, we, man, I, I kicked it with everybody, man, but Chip, that was my boy. Me and Chip got cool through sports. You know what I'm saying? We played football. We started in the seventh grade. When I moved from uh, Pearl Arch in the seventh grade, moved up on the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Deuce Trace with Descal. Just in case you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Deuce Trey, baby. Yeah. 23rd. Yeah. Deuce Trey, that's where I stay right now. So, But uh, when I got to Deuce Trey, man, that's, where, that's when I bumped into really like the whole, that's when niggas just really just bumped into the streets. It's crazy, it seemed hard, it's crazy to say, but. What was it, seventh grade, eighth grade? Seventh, eighth yeah, grade. Yeah, yeah. Started dibbing and dabbing. Sixth grade too, you know, but yeah. not really like I did I'm when I was. Yeah, because when I got to, when I got to 23rd Street, I started fucking with G-Max and them, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas are already older than me. Mm -hmm. But back then, uh, I'm in the seventh grade, them niggas like in the ninth or the 10th grade, you know what I'm saying? So we go to Westbrook games and shit yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. you know, I used to be, you know. So it was, it was, so by the time a nigga got to high school, I was already done with school. The crazy yeah. part, I got my GED in the tent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And went to uh, LIT. Been through a lot of shit and then shit after, I, I, <clears throat> when I was supposed to be graduating high school, my dumb ass was in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought I, you know, you think you got it figured out. You know so when you went down, what year you went down? In 99. 99. So you in jail. I don't know if you was fighting your case or you already knew what you already knew you were going to fight or you knew you was going to take a little hit and go down. Yeah, I knew. I knew. You just didn't know how long. Yeah, see, I had I had went before. Man, got caught up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Took my lick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying when, when, when. You know. So what? When you in there, what, 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 what you thinking about? What's the relationship with you and your mama now? What's the conversation going on with you and your mama and your dad? You in jail? All right. About to go to prison. The conversation with me and my dad was. I've been telling you this shit your whole life. <laughs> yeah, straight out. Think it's a game. Now you, now, now you listen. Now you hear me, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now you hear now you now you now you hear my voice. Though. Everything. Woop -de -woop. So I'm like, yeah, man. Um, kind of thought it was a game, right? In the county, I had my my lawyer. He rest in peace too. His name was Theodore Johns. You remember him? He got the Theodore Johns Library now, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was my lawyer. He come in that motherfucker. His first visit to come see me. I'm in the I'm in the county. You know, this is my first case. Yeah. My first felony. So when he comes see me and shit, he's like, oh man, 
Da, da talking about. He want to give you forty years for both, both robberies. Who do who who? I got robberies, so I'm not. What that mean? What you talking about? Nigga? Well, they trying to give you uh forty and run them consecutive. Mm -hmm. I say, fuck. So you really they already kind of like so eighty years though. So I'm, I went back to the when after he got through with that interview. I, mean, I went back to the motherfucking door and introduced myself to God real quick. I wonder, whoa, whoa, oh, hold on. You know, they gotta be, they got to be more to life than this. Lord Jesus, please don't let this be it. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of that, <clears throat> whatever I went through, man, I ended up bonding out, Danny. To be honest with you, I bonded out, dog. I was in there for four months in the county, bonded out. And caught another motherfucking case, nigga. <laughs> Out on bond. Out on bond. Caught another robbery in Houston. Same thing I did. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so did you have any kids at this time? When two, you got locked up? Two kids, bro. 19, two kids. Yeah. You know, not really. Two kids, a lot of responsibilities and no money, man. And then uh, only no one way. I know goddamn well, I ain't coming back then, it was like seven, seven twenty-five an hour, or if that, maybe it was, maybe it was, I don't even remember how much it was, four twenty-five. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell him. You know what I'm saying? It was low, you know what I'm saying? But I, I know, I, I do remember this, I used to work all week and make like one eighty-five. Yeah. Damn it, Somewhere you know, two hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and they got me, they got me all day. So, so now, so I now you're in, the, you're in the county. Okay, we're gonna move on and boom, you're yeah. gone. You're in prison. You done got your time. How much time you got? Come on. I ended up getting 12. Okay, you end up getting 12. You're gonna go on down the road. What the relationship now with the conversation is like? You still in you still in touch with your kids during your oh, incarceration? Yeah. yeah. I was writing my kids. Anytime I knew where they address uh -huh. was, they got mail for me. Um, stayed in touch with them. They still got mail to this day, man. Me and my kids, uh, We have, to say I've been through all I've been through, man, me and my kids got a real good relationship, man. I'm talking about That's good. great That's good. relationship. Me and, good. me and my daughter. So how old was you when you, was, son, when you went down? I was 18. And you came home, how old were you? 32. 18 to 32. All your 20s. Put it like you, I got locked up in, when I was 18. Yeah. And then by the time I got my time and all that shit because yeah, yeah. I borrowed it out a few times. But by the time I got my time, they gave me 12, I did 12. Yeah. I had to, I discharged my shit. 18 and what, 30 what? 32. 33, 32? Yeah, I did 19 and 30. I did what, 19 to, I got out when I was 33, 34? Said what? All our twins. From 99 to 2011. Yeah, I went from 93 to 2008. Yeah. Man, all our twins. That's what they, man, back then it was, that's, man, it's been, it's, my dad been telling me that since the beginning. It's a setup, it's been a setup from the get up, you know what I'm saying? It's just. I mean, but once you know the setup, it's not a setup no I, more. I made the mistake. I can, I can honestly, you know, take my yeah. lick and, you know what I'm saying? I understand what I did and, 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 and I ain't mad about the 12 years I got, I did, you know, I so ain't the, mad about nothing. But I do understand that yeah. it's a setup. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna get out. Yeah, we know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> gonna, just, so the day you get out, you remember the day you got out? Yeah, yeah. Um, on Monday or Tuesday or Friday? Oh, no. Nah, I don't remember like what day it was. Uh -huh. but I got I, on a Monday. You did? Monday morning, Monday by eleven. I yeah, it was. I think I was supposed to get out at eleven, and then I ended up. I think because I smoked a cigarette in the child hall before I left yeah. on the punk So who like, came to pick you up? Sure. My mom, my daddy, my son. My daughter went there. We, she, we went straight to her house. Though. Man, what was okay. that like? What was that day like? Man, Twelve was years. Cool. Yeah, man. Um, we went to. It was cool, man. We, they give you a hundred dollars, bro. They give you a hundred dollars and, and we gonna holler at you. So clown we clothes. You in the clown clothes? Yeah. <laughs> First place we go is the Marshalls, right? Yeah. 
So my mama like, go and get you something to wear. You know, I give me a shirt and some shorts. She like, God damn, why you gotta get white, all white? Cause I mean, you know, you just came out of all white. Mm -hmm. so, I didn't uh, touch nothing white. Yeah, I don't know why I pick up a white shirt and some white shorts, right? So I drop my drawers, I drop my chest, start getting that dress right in the bra. <laughs> she the like, <laughs> yeah. my mama like, huh? What is you doing? I'm like, what you mean? What I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm so used to just getting out of them. You know wherever, what I'm saying? Outside, yeah, wherever you want to see it, it is. You know what I'm saying? Out of book. And uh, <laughs> yeah, mama like, no, I, I already got dressed. Shit, they go they gave me the tag. We went up there, paid for it, and left. Man, with my little mother cousin Susie. Yeah. Susie took me shopping, and it was cool. I had a nice little experience when I got out. But the main thing was pops told me. You got 90 days, man, to get your shit together because I ain't gonna have no 30 year old man in the house with me. You gotta go. So it wasn't like no get out. Man, you know how to bear it, but it, it was more like, you know, ain't no, I ain't raising no, uh, uh -huh. you ain't raised, you, you know, type shit. You ain't gonna be in here. You gotta figure this shit out. Yeah. So I'm on the mission. 90 days was up. <laughs> 90 days was up, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, 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 and shit happened, mm -hmm. you know, and I went forward, moved forward, moved forward, still moving forward, you ask me uh, today what I do, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, you know yeah. what I'm saying, I'm a business owner. The new LB. Yeah. How many kids you got? Two kids, two grandkids, this is Casey Dream right here, say hey. Casey, what's up? See, I got a grandpa. I'm pop. I'm pop pop now. Pop so. pop, man. When you think back, and then you look back at now, when you see your kids and your grandkids, man, what you, what you see, man, what you, come across your mind, man. Man, for a long time, I had, I had felt like I needed to have kids again. You know, have uh -huh. kids again because I miss, I miss, I miss when you, when you, you know, when you. Yeah. I, I wasn't. When my daughter was this age, I was getting pictures and shit, you feel me? So, to be able to uh, be here with her daughter, it, it, man, that's, that's, all, that's all I need. I don't need no new kids. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm cool with my kids, we, we straight. I really, it's not about the kids, man. I don't need no new, whole new, person in my life that mm -hmm. I gotta worry about. Not the not the kid, I'm talking about the uh the the woman. I don't mm -hmm. need that. I don't need her and her family type shit. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with what we got. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. thing, man. So what but, you got going on in the entrepreneur world, man, an A I B. Uh thirteen thirty three USA, man. What that what's that? Tell us about that. Well you see, uh, you see, man, I got a lot to say about a lot that I ain't even talked about. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We can dig deep. You know, no, you ain't come back big, 13, deep, man. Yeah. 1333 USA, man, that's that's really, because we, we live in a country where African Americans, we make up 13% of the whole country. Yeah. But at the same time, we make up 33% of the prison population mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the United States of America. So mm -hmm. I'm screaming to these, to the power that be. We ain't asking for no apology. We just asking for respect from you motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's evident that they've been targeting, targeting us over the years. You know what I'm saying? Any, I'm not saying. Listen, this, this is the part, Danny. I'm not saying I, I ain't wrong in my. <laughs> Like whatever, yeah. just like he ain't wrong or he yeah, ain't yeah, wrong. Yeah. Shit, we all we all fuck up, right? But let the same thing happen to me. That's gonna happen to yeah. this to the to the, the white oh, boy. The about. white boy get five years probation. This nigga get twenty yeah. years, twenty years TDC. That's mm -hmm. that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody deserve that same first opportunity. But anyway, so thirteen thirty three USA man, we just. We just come with, with, with a conscious mindset, man, trying to wake, wake everybody up on some certain Quality. shit. Quality. Keep it equal, baby. Yeah, yeah, equality. You know, Tupac mm -hmm. said liberty need glasses. I think justice does, too. Yeah. You got to buy Uncle Sam a new lack, because you know I'm mm -hmm. You got to pick a color that fit, like bright red, white, and blue. <laughs> Don't forget about equality, because yeah. that bitch riding, too. 
For yeah. real. Yeah. Man, that's what's up, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. We done been through the struggle, man. We done put ourselves in some situations that we had to came out of. And you here with your kids, man. A beautiful sign of your grandbaby walking around. Yeah, man. Man, I hope you keep coming back, man, and chopping it up with us, man. Some you want to leave us with? Man, life. Life itself is, is a blessing because each day is a lesson. If you open your eyes and see it, you mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? Uh, so, what I can leave, what I can leave the world with uh, is a, uh, it don't matter what you have or where you been, it mm -hmm. matters what you planning to do and the steps you taking to get to this motherfucking plan. You dig what I'm saying? And your business ain't show business what you do. You ain't right, right, ain't gotta know about it. Mm -hmm. But just let the fruits bear and, 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 and you know, stay true. As long as you stay true, man, stay ready for the misunderstanding because it's coming. Hmm, stay ready for the misunderstanding. <laughs> because it's coming. Man, I'm so glad you stopped by, man, and chopped it up with us, man. Keep coming by. We talk about whatever, political, sports, life itself, kids, man, and uh RB, man, we love you, man, and keep hollering at us, baby boy. For sure.